Hi, my name is Khalid and today I will be teaching everyone how to create a header logo for their website. Um, first click on File, New, Name your logo, Width, set it to 900 pixels, Height, set it to 200 pixels, uh, 72 pixels per inch for resolution, uh, color mode RGB color at 8 bits background content white and click OK next uh, we want to zoom in into our logo so press and hold the control key and then press plus on your keyboard and now it's at a hundred percent next what you want to do is press and hold control shift N and uh, the new layer box appears um, and then give your layer a name so I'm going to name this logo and then what you want to do next is f uh, fill in the logo or fill in that layer um, click on uh, the rectangle marquee tool and select it make sure feather is set to zero pixels style is set to fixed size width is 900 pixels and height is 200 pixels then left click uh, on your logo and as you can see um, some dotted lines appear right click within um, your rectangle logo and click on fill and we want to choose a color so choose color and for now I'm going to use 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and click OK and as you can see our rectangle is filled with a black color next you want to deselect your rectangle so that the um, dotted lines disappear press control D and then after this uh, after that we want to add some um, style to it so click on blending option um, we would like to add a gradient and then click in the gradient box and uh, click on the first color stop to uh, create your own gradient uh, pick a color of your choice I'm going to use C300A5 and then click on the next color stop and uh, the next color I'll be using is F E 3DCA and click OK to accept. Now you want to name your gradient so type in light pink to dark pink gradient and then click on new and as you can see in the presets box your new layer is created I mean your new gradient is created and click on OK to accept next uh, we're going to add a pattern overlay so click on pattern uh, pick a pattern of your choice for, th for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Hirung Pone weird name but uh, I'm going to use this one and then uh, go back up to gradient and set the opacity to 90 percent and as you can see you can see the pattern overlay within the gradient overlay it makes it looks makes it look really neat um, and then click OK to accept and uh, next I will show you how to add a font to your uh, logo click on the horizontal type tool make sure you have a font selected 
font size for now is going to be 60. Uh, the outer edges of the font will be sharp. The font will be aligned to the left and the font color will be white for now. Click on the logo and type in whatever you'd like. And as you can see, if I use this scroll bar down here, I have typed in header logo. After that, uh, right click on your header logo and choose blending options. And the layer style box appears. Uh, make sure, well, for this tutorial, I'm going to check drop shadow uh, and give it a distance of 3 and a size of 15 and add a stroke and the stroke will be 2 pixels posi po positioned on the outside uh, the blend mode is going to be normal opacity is going to be 100% and instead of using the color or pattern I'm going to be using a gradient today and I'm going to use the gradient that I just created and uh, the style is set at linear angle is 90 uh, 90 degrees and um, scale is at 100 percent and click OK to accept the next thing I will be showing you is how to align your your text to your logo um, hold down the control key while your he header logo is selected uh, make sure it's blue right here and then click on logo and then click on the move tool and after that click on align vertical centers and align horizontal centers and as you can see here's my full logo and it is aligned exactly in the middle so uh, today we have learned how to create a new uh, document uh, uh, how to use the rectangle marquee tool how to apply fill color to, to uh, the rectangle um, also apply a gradient and an overlay and uh, you've also you also learned how to uh, enter in some font uh, add a drop shadow to the font um, also add a stroke to the font with a gradient and you've also learned how to align text uh, to a to, to your logo or a certain document that, that you're creating. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, please leave comments. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.